Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor and the adoration. Thank you for a time like this. For the privilege of knowing you. For the privilege of relationship. Be glorified. Be honored. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't see that in a hurry yet. We are seeing very, very drastic manifestations of God in this place. On a daily basis, continuous basis. Today in the healing and deliverance service, we saw diverse things. Was it a young man that was bound with drug for 10 years? Had done everything to be free of drugs, he couldn't be free. Until the power of God broke that, the chain of drugs in this place. Woman with chronic leg ulcer that was qualified for amputation. The leg was already gangrenous. It was dead. If they didn't cut it off, it will affect the rest of the body. Came in here, the power of God hit that woman and that leg. Communion was blessed. And then, phew, it was healed. They showed us the leg today. And how it was before it was not comparable. Or the other woman that had lymphedema that already caused stiffness of the leg. She was anemic with a PCV of 17%. The first time they came here was Christmas Day, Tuesday. A Tuesday like this, two weeks ago. And she said, the husband said, when they entered in here, they stopped about 10 times before she sat down to show you how frail she was today she was so healed she was running on the altar here the affliction died on the spot too many or was it the case of the woman that ran mad the young girl ran mad from Oweri her husband's house her brother brought her in here from area one but at the crossover service stepping on this ground bam the power hit her madness checked back to hell forever also the same man who was testifying about his sister his own daughter died suddenly the, the wife noticed that the child wasn't breathing after a brief fever they placed the tongues of fire in the ears of the child Bam! Eject back to life. Is God speaking? Are you following me at all? Or the case of the woman that was tied by occultism for 20 solid years from having a child tied by occultism. In the February 2017, worship and wonders night she says towards the morning period i went walked through the crowd to the back where she was pulled her out and began to cause marital reproach family reproach and the cycle of the occultic power that held her down and reproductive issue then she mentioned if as i finished talking said that is where why i'm here 20 years no child and as pythons and snakes appear in her compound it will come today come next tomorrow in the physical every three days kill it another will come that woman was so delivered until the yoke of 20 years barrenness was broken she said when she was pregnant some three demonic beings appeared and said to her how 
did you escape? Who prayed for you? Who delivered you? Say, Doctor Pastor Paul and Angel. The other one say, What? Don't make, don't say again. They put the, the hand on the head. Put the hand. The second one put the hand on the head. The third one said, don't, 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 don't mention it again. And he said, Come, let's show you what he did to us. And he took them to a very big python whose head was scattered and was already rotten. Was rotten. It. Head scattered, rotten. It. And they didn't know. He said, See how he put us to shame. Are you ready for more? While she was in the dream, that same pregnancy she was about to deliver, a man came to deliver her and broke, tried to break the hand of the child. And she used her hand to hit the man. And the man took the hand off. When she delivered her child, the same day she delivered the child, that man who came to pull the child fell down and broke his own hand. It was back to sender. Back to sender. Ay, 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 ay. I am telling you so that you understand that you are not just standing on ordinary grounds. You are not just standing on ordinary grounds. So you can understand that anything is possible on this ground. You know, at the area one church, once you the car drop you in on, on the in the front like this, you just stroll straight to the gate. This one I see a lot of people strolling all the way from the highway. By the time you reach this gate, your journey was just started. <laughs> And then you stroll all the way, all the way to walk to this gate here. From here to here, it's over 200 meters, 240 something meters. That is three, almost three football fields. That trekking is not in vain. Can you say amen like a believer? of the woman who came here today that one was a all her wonders she had an encounter in the dream her husband died of an affliction and she was the only one and by that affliction she ran blind she became blind one eye was gone second eye was gone but they had to remove one eye but before long the second eye became completely blind and she saw in a, in a vision an revelatory encounter that I came and told her go and evangelize, go and preach he said in this condition I should preach go her daughter will hold her into the big FCT buses and she will be preaching so many people who she said all the people who go from massacre to who say in the buses they know me i stand inside the bus i preach blind her daughter and people ran out today see i know the woman i know the woman this one said i saw her preaching today another one said the other day she was preaching somebody was trying to fight her from the other religion another one said one day she was preaching and her husband and herself were in the vehicle i said blind woman preaching take 100 naira as they gave her the 100 naira their own child that was not seen the eye opened this today that woman's eyes eye because the other eyeball was removed opened on this ground she climbed this altar she was dancing she said daddy pastor I didn't know I would see you. Is it you I'm seeing physical like this? I say, can you see me? He said, you I'm seeing physical like this. Ooh. She was crying. The daughter was crying. I asked the daughter, I said, why are you crying? She said, I didn't know I can leave her hand one second for her to move by herself. I didn't know I can leave her hand one second. I am saying this because we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb. 
and by the word of our testimonies. I am saying this because it was the testimony of Elizabeth that gave Mary the confidence that her word will come to pass. I give you these testimonies on this ground and everyone watching us from all around the world, whatever you are trusting God for, the same power is here. The same power is released and the same power will give you your testimony. Shout the loudest, amen. Publish it everywhere. Let people know that we serve a living God, not a dead God. He's alive and he's at work in this place. Shake three hands around you and tell them God is alive. And God is at work in this place. Shake three other hands. God is at work in this place. a big clap of hand. Before you sit down, stand up one more time. Tell somebody by yourself, say, you are on this same miracle ground. Your miracle will encounter you here. Let me tell three people, tell them, you are on this miracle ground, your miracle must encounter you. the praise and take your seat. The Lord bless you in Jesus name.